of this very interesting little hybrid freezer all the way to the cold rail. There's no evaporator, this is it. So it's designed to put ice creams in by the window. They said it's not cooling, they've had it turned off, so that's uh, not a good place to start. And hopefully it's just that simple. Let's fire it up, see what happens. So this is on a delay. Once that goes solid, condenser's running. Can't tell if the compressor's running or not. We do have a sight glass back there. Well, let's start with cleaning the coil. What so it's funny, this location is on a prevention program with me, and we do inner coils twice a year, and we do them in April and October. So this hasn't been done since October, and where it is, you can really see it's impacted way in there. So I actually don't love using the aerosols but especially on these little units. You come in with a couple cans of aerosol and do the whole, do every unit here. <laughs> you can tell we are in the Southern hospitality part of Georgia. All right, we're gonna let that marinate and we're gonna rinse it out, see what we're looking like. Um, I mean, we do have service ports on this. So I can gauge up if I need to. But what I'll probably do is just reveal to get to that sight class. We'll fire up the unit, see what it starts doing. Uh, I had them turn this off. They had it running. So I told them to turn it off the other day when they said it wasn't working. Because otherwise they were just going to short cycle it, you know, for the two days it's taken me to get here, three days. And, uh... Then it'll burn, burnt up the compressor on the high head pressure. Okie dokie. Now let's see what it does. Mm-hmm. Oh, we can feel some air across it now. Let's give it a minute. See if we don't get some head pressure just by touch. All right, we should have a nice hot discharge line. But I can tell you there was no air moving before. Now, now we're moving, so. Wouldn't that be nice if that's all it was? Boy, it's really hard to tell, but my compressor is running. 4.7 amps. Mm-mm. I just was a little bit confuzzled because I'm not getting a hard I'm not getting a hot discharge line straight out of the compressor. So it's a little bit make me question if it was running or not. It's a little warm. Give it some time, see what happens with the temp. All right, so the compressor is definitely still running, pulling 4.4 amps, but I'm not getting any temp drop. Not out of your way, sorry. And my TXV is just, I mean, cool, question mark, barely. All right, it runs through the pan, out, out of the condenser, around here into this little receiver. Into the receiver, out of the receiver, into the dryer. Through the side glass. And into the TXV. So a couple things. We are dead flat on gas.
We got nothing coming back. We don't have enough pressure to push through the TXV. So we're definitely out of gas. But the low pressure cutout should be dropping out the compressor and it's not. So now we got a monkey with, why, why is the low pressure cutout not dropping? As I powered it down, they equalized at about nothing. When we turn it on, a slight delay, and then there it goes. Head pressure up, suction pressure down to zero. Yeah, just, uh, just out of gas. All right, so I'm gonna grab nitrogen, and I'm actually gonna put this thing under pressure, see if I can't find the leak. I do have a suspicion when I took this off, this had like a white powder all over it, which was strange. This is an R449. Yeah. So, which I don't have in my truck because I don't use R449 hardly ever. So I'm gonna throw them to the parts house, grab a bottle, but let's see if we can't find the leak. All right, so I'm just gonna nitro it up. I put 200 on one side, I put about 75 on the other, slightly under. I'm gonna go do other stuff. What I did initially was I just checked the, uh, the connections and the service valves and I got nothing there. There's nothing else that's screaming out at me that it's, you know, tore up. But, but leave it like this. If she doesn't lose pressure, then I'll get some gas and gas it up. Take it from there. Go. We've lost 20 psi on the high side, so we definitely got a leak on the high side. So now I'll get serious about finding it. Uh oh. So frustrated. Uh, can't find the leak. It's going off as if it were in there. I filled that with water and I got nothing. So I am well aware this is a uh, and I'm coming back journey. But put a tap of gas in it. Running beautiful. I'm running a zero degree coil. My temps are dropping. Everything's great. Sight glass is clear. Whatever. We're gonna see how long it takes for this to leak out, I guess. I just, I soap bubbled everything. I used my whisper. I'm definitely getting hits underneath there. Which, what happens is this unit that burns off the water gets leaks in it but you can tell what it does because it bubbles up when you fill it with water i put 300 psi nitrogen in there got nothing so txv is frosty temp is already pulling down let's roll back all right we're down to 13 degrees Ew, I'm sorry. Nice and cold in there now.